it's Carolina. Today we're gonna do this look. It was actually a look inspired by two girls who basically have similar techniques on how they apply their eye makeup. So I'm just gonna combine those two and do an inspired look of just like the techniques or like what you could get out of the makeup. And basically, I hate using this word, but this is more suitable for people who have slanted eyes. And believe it or not, like my eyes are really slanted too because when I smile, like, you know, like my cheekbones kind of push my eyes up. It's nothing bad about your features, it's just a trait. So, for those of you who want to kind of avoid that slanted look and just kind of have more like a puppy or like a little bit more like evened out droopy look, this makeup is basically that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Sorry about the long intro and hope you guys have a happy new year. And I know this video is going to go up in 2012, but whatever, it's happy new year. You want to have pretty much perfect looking skin. Start with a primer. I'm almost running out of this and it's about time. Okay, I'm going to use about this much. And if you have bumpy surfaces like me, you will want to prime your face so a foundation could spread out evenly. It's gonna pump about this much. And start stippling it on my face. I'm gonna use a concealer, and this is from Benefit. It's the Bling Concealer. If you like buffing your face, you could actually do so. I'm not going to do that because I usually don't like it. It kind of cakes up on my face. I'm going to draw my eyebrows the Korean way, which is really thick. I'm just going to fill in my brows. And they're going to be a little bit thicker than usual. Super thick eyebrows. I'm going to prime my eyes. This is a creaseless cream. Shadow, um, you could use anything. You could use like your Urban Decay Primer Potion or, or whatever primer you want to use. I just like using this because for some reason I just like red eyeshadow or just red underlying colors for some reason. Bring it in all the way. Like so. Just try not to spread it out too much. Wow, that really looks sick. I'm going to use my K palette. I'm going to use this color right here. Just go all over your lid, just right over the primer. So this is just kind of like an underlying color. All right, now next what I'm gonna do is before I go into any further eyeshadow usage, I'm gonna use an eyeliner first. And the reason why I'm doing that is because today's eyes is mostly just like kind of creating a fake eye shape. And we're going to emphasize a lot on the outer and lower part. So if you look at both girls, they both have pretty basic eyeliner on. Tony Moly Party Liner. Line. A very basic line. Like so. Alright, next what you're going to need is, well you don't really need it, but I prefer using eyeliner pencils on my lower lash line. So I'm just going to grab my Urban Decay 24 7 eyeliner and add a little bit right there of the front. And you want to bring it up to like about here. You're going to need a plummy purple-ish shadow. I'm gonna mix this and this just to create a similar color of what they used. Draw a small line right above the gel eyeliner. You could barely even see it, right? And then what you want to do is you actually want to open your eyes and kind of bring the wing downwards so it could actually Bring your eyes a little bit downwards. Remember that puppy eyes method that I've had a tutorial on? You could kind of refer to that. You don't want to flick it up. We're not trying to go for a catty look. And you just want to bring out a little bit like how I did. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to bring in the color 
But see how my eyes kind of like slanted up like that? So we're just trying to like modify that part with shadow. So I'm gonna dab a little bit more on my brush and I'm just going to bring that in just so it connects with my eyes. So see this empty space right here? That space is gonna be all filled up and that's gonna be like the fake part of the eye shape that we create. So let me just like fill it in. And that's why it's important to actually prime all the way to like underneath right here when you first prime your eyes. And just kind of, it's not gonna look as slanted right there at the end. And you're just gonna have a longer and bigger looking eye. And it's just kind of like an illusion that you kind of make up with makeup. That thin line that you drew as your eyeliner. Just going to add a simple coat of mascara on my top lashes. Add a lot of effort to your bottom lashes. If you barely have any bottom lashes like me, good luck. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this bourgeois... Ooh, I just butchered it. The key to this look is subtleness. Kind of tap it right there. Tap it. Just so you could add a hint of color on your face because you don't want to look too pale or like too dead. So the idea of blushes, you kind of want to just build it up. I am going to go a little bit lighter, but I don't want to go like completely pale, especially like Nana because it just kind of, you know, washes out so many, you know, good features of your lips and you don't really want to do that. So I'm going to use this lipstick and it's from Misha. It's the Creamy Matte Lip Rouge and it's a matte lipstick. So you really have to be careful when you use matte lipsticks because it could actually make you look really dry. So I'm just going to outline my lips like that. If you have like a pale baby pink color, then please go ahead and use that. Like so. See how I don't have this part filled in? Pink mauve, I think. Yeah. And basically it looks like this. I'm just gonna add that Right there. It's not gonna go completely all the way to the um, outer part of my lips, but just kind of filling in the colors. All right, so this was pretty much it. This is the whole makeup look. 2012 is gonna be awesome. And all right, thanks. Bye.